All You Need to Know, the Bloomberg Quint podcast that prepares you for the day's business. Good morning. You're listening to the Daily Morning Update from Bloomberg Quint and I'm Alex Matthew. Today is Friday, the 17th of January. In the top news, the Supreme Court has dismissed petitions of telecom operators seeking review of the definition of adjusted gross revenue that makes them liable to pay thousands of crores in pending dues. A bench headed by Justice Arun Mishra did not find any justifiable reason to entertain the review petitions filed by Bharti Airtel and Vodafone Idea after the Apex Court's October ruling that the operators would have to include non-core revenue to calculate levies. That's left them with a bill of more than 50,000 crore rupees as adjusted gross revenue dues comprising spectrum usage charges and license fees, among others. Bharti Airtel said that it is evaluating filing a curative petition against the order. The Reserve Bank of India will conduct a fourth round of simultaneous purchase and sale of government bonds on the 23rd of January under its special open market operations being dubbed as Operation Twist. The central bank will once again simultaneously buy and sell up to 10,000 crore rupees worth of government bonds. That's according to a notification that came in yesterday. For details of which tenor of bonds will be bought and sold, do look up the story on the website bloombergquint.com. Reliance Geo Infocom's active subscriber base or customer base has declined in November 2019 for the first time since it began operations three years ago. That could largely be on the back of the company's decision to start charging customers for voice calls. The number of active users on its network declined by nearly 24 lakh two months ago, according to data compiled by Bloomberg Quint from the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. Commerce Minister Piyush Goyal has said that Jeff Bezos's Amazon.com is not doing India a favor by investing a further $1 billion into its operations in the country. His comments came a day after Bezos made an announcement to that effect. To find out the context for Goyal's remarks, check out the story on the website. Here's a look at what's making headlines globally. Now that the trade deal is officially signed between the US and China, President Xi's wider fight with the US is viewed as only just beginning. In a letter read out during the signing of the trade deal at the White House, Chinese leader Xi Jinping asked US President Donald Trump to take steps to enhance mutual trust and cooperation between the two countries. That won't be easy because apart from the trade agreement, the US and China are battling on everything from technology to human rights to territorial disputes. Meanwhile, in the US, Chief Justice John Roberts made his first appearance in the Senate chamber yesterday to swear in the senators for President Donald Trump's impeachment trial, which is set to begin on Tuesday. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer has said that he would try to force a vote on whether to call witnesses in Trump's Senate impeachment trial shortly after it gets underway. And Republican Senator Susan Collins said that she is likely to support such a proposal after each side presents its case and answers questions from senators. Deutsche Bank sees a distressed debt cycle beginning in China. Amid rising defaults and tighter liquidity for Chinese privately owned enterprises, the nation's banks are letting some companies fail, something that Deutsche Bank says presents bigger opportunities for foreign investors in troubled debt. In international markets, U.S. stocks continued their record-breaking run with the three averages rising close to a percent. And that risk-on sentiment is being seen in Asia too this morning, with all three early rises starting off in the green. With that, it's over to Darshan Mehta for the trade setup for the day in India. Morning Darshan, how are we looking today? Hi Alex, good morning, good morning everyone. Global queues are very, very strong. The US markets ended up well, the Asian markets have started strong. But the SGX Nifty somehow is rather muted, it's down 10 points, but that will change, there's still time for the markets to open. 
In terms of uh, earnings, uh, it's the big day for Nifty earnings. Reliance Industries, TCS and HCL Tech will report numbers on the Nifty front. Among the other numbers, there is Blue Dart, there is Fertilizer and Chemicals, ICICI Lombard General Insurance, LNT Finance Holdings and LNT Technology Services. Now, in terms of results announced, Scient results were in line with estimates. The PAT beat was on account of Forex gains. Now, revenues in the services business were flattish. DLM revenues were weak. They were down over 30% QOQ. Issues in the aerospace and defense could have bottomed out as per the management. The management says recovery in one of the key verticals, that is the communication vertical, is encouraging. And the management expects EBIT margin uptick in FI21. So results in line, but the management commentary quite positive. Rallis revenues up 28%, profit up 2.7 times and EBIT doubles. The growth was led by strong performance in the domestic business, which grew over 30% on a year-on-year basis. The domestic business was aided by strong Strong Rabi season and new launches, lower depreciation and tax rate, which was lower, also aided profit. And the production is expected to commence for the Dehage chemical plant in FI21 as per the management. Tata Metallics came out with numbers. While revenues were down 5%, profit was up 16%. EBITDA was up 5% due to lower material cost. The pig iron revenues were down 4%. Ductile iron pipe revenues were down 18%. Hathaway cable revenues up 12%. EBITDA up 47%. Margins at 26% versus is 19.7%. Now there's a profit of 67 crores versus a net loss of 60 crores last time around and that is due to higher other income. The margins were higher due to lower pay channel cost. Broadband revenues were up 6% and cable revenues were up 15%. South Indian Bank NI up 16%. Profit was up 8%. Asset quality stable. The bank classified three accounts as fraud in the quarter and provided 15 crores in the PNL, which is 25% of the exposure. The balance 75 percent of the exposure shall be debited in the PNL over the next three quarters in equal installment. Karnataka Bank NII up 4%, profit down 12% and slightly weak asset quality so should react negatively. Stocks to watch obviously the telecom stocks Bharti Airtel and Vodafone in which the Supreme Court has rejected the telecom company's review petition on the AGR case so that will be in focus. A lot of these banks like Indusind Bank, Yes Bank, SBI which have large exposure to the telecommunication space especially Vodafone, will be in focus. Yes Bank again, Moody's has placed the bank's long-term foreign currency issuer rating of B2 under review. Hindalco will be in focus as Alcoa, which is the largest aluminium producer, has reported adjusted EBITDA, which disappointed the street. EBITDA dropped to a three-year low dragged by lower aluminium and aluminium prices. Dishman Carbogen will be in focus. The board has approved the share buyback to a maximum of 48 lakh shares at 150 per share. Music Broadcast will consider bonus issue on or January 7th. In terms of the try subscription data, Reliance Geo lost 24 lakh subscribers, the first decline since it began its operation. Airtel added in 37.4 lakh and Vodafone Idea lost in 30 lakh users. In terms of brokerages, UBS has raised Max Financial's target to 640 from 550 and HSBC has upgraded Dr. Eddie's to a buy from a hold with a target price of 3230 from the earlier 2760. But there's much more you need to know before trade actually starts. For that, Log on to our website, bloombuckquin.com and click on the All You Need to Know tab and you'll be prepared for morning trade. Thanks, Sarshan. And as always, thank you all for listening in. This is Alex Matthews signing off. Have a great day and an even better weekend. I hope you enjoyed listening to All You Need to Know. Did you know that you can listen to this show on the IVM Podcast app? On the IVM Podcast app, along with this, we have a number of other shows which you think you'll enjoy. Listen to Cyrus Says with Cyrus Brocha as the host. Listen to Pesa Vesa with Anupam Gupta. The Scene and the Unseen with Amit Varma or Shunya One hosted by Shiladiti Mukhopadhyay and myself. Check out the IVM Podcast app to get more talk content that you will enjoy.